it's getting real hot for the NFL right now. I got a lot of different things going on, and uh, we've been following the story pretty closely. Uh, and Colin Kaepernick is coming back with a vengeance. Him and his lawyer, Mark Gregor Ghost, um, celebrity lo- or, uh, lawyer, um, known working with Michael Jackson as well, amongst a whole bunch of other celebrity clients that he has, um, you know, worked with and defended. Um, and, you know, he really got the ball rolling here. This your boy CJ Goodfellow, back with the Boxing Clinic and more. Welcome. We're talking more in boxing, sports, entertainment, anything. You know, current events, we try to cover the cover the field. Uh, don't be fooled by the name. But um, um, we talked about him saying uh, the lawyer, Mark Gregos. I don't know if I pronounced his name right. Talking about, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick should be signed in 10, get 10 days. And, um, you know, maybe that's not really uh, coming to fruition like he thought or the offers is not what he thought it to be. And now, you know, they're coming to step on the NFL throw in a time of weakness. It's more than a chink in NFL's armor right now. You know, you got the Zeke Elliott thing going on. Then since the Ray Rice thing, you know, it amplified the domestic violence. Now they're doing commercials. Um, then the owners really put a lot of light on the situation. When Paul Tagliabue was the commissioner, you know, he didn't apply to play judge, jury, executioner. He let things play out. You know, and some somewhere around the, around along the way, NFL wanted to clean things up, so they hired Roger Goodell to empower him to really come down on the players. And um, now it's not working in one of the owners' favor in Jerry Jones. Um, now you want to change the rules as we go. So you got that going on. The national anthem protest. Only reason the players did protest, they didn't want to protest for their brother Colin Kaepernick. They protested because Trump reiterated what the owners was telling them. Then you have Bob McNair call, you know. His players, uh, you know, inmates. Um, so now his stuff is really starting to boil down to it. And now, uh, you know, Kaepernick's team and his lawyers now act now have been, you know, you know, had a motion or whatever it is to depose to spo- depose phone and email records from Jerry Jones, Bob, Bob, uh, Bob McNair, and Robert Kraft, and um, several other owners will be named later on in his uh, deposition, whatever made through court. And they will be a, have to uh, hand over records, emails, and all that stuff. And they're going to dig and find all that stuff up. And they're going to get to the bottom of it. Now, they need to go ahead and nip this in the bud. Because they know they said some things behind closed doors about Kyle Kaepernick. Because uh, old snitch uh, Donald Trump, when he said SOBs, he was repeating what the owners was telling him about the players. So, Trump has no filter. You know, obviously the owners like Jerry Jones, who had a close relationship with him, Bob McNair, both of those guys funding his uh his little campaign. Probably showed it Robert Kraft. So they've been going around sending different things about Colin Kaepernick. And I'm pretty sure telling other owners not to let him in the league or some foul amongst that matter. And Kaepernick knows it. You know, it's it's not uh it's not a secret like they think it is. And now they gotta hand over these emails and these phone records and they they really find something. And Colin Kaepernick wins this collusion case. The NFL collective bargaining agreement is broken. That means they have to negotiate a new deal and not wait to 2020 where I think it's 2020 where they anticipate a lockout. So, you know, the players um, are looking for a better deal. Every time it's a collective bargaining agreement or a union contract at the union shop or whatever you work at somewhere with a union like that, the contract never gets worse. It's always supposed to get better. Benefits, money, or whatever it is, pensions, pensions for the old retiree uh, players, bonus checks, Bonus money, something in the player's way is supposed to get better, and that's the real big thing about this. The the the, the owners do not want that collective bargaining broken because then the players get a, a better benefit, a more chunk of the pie, and at least for two more years without that being broken, they can eat. They plan the players. The players make pennies compared to the owners. Let's keep it true. And Colin Kaepernick is the is is the key to this. You know, if you can you know find this collusion case to be, you know, real. He gonna get some money. He gonna be able to set. He ain't gotta play again. The players is gonna be able to um, negotiate a new deal, put more money in their pocket. But at the end of the day, Kyle, and he got a million dollar publishing deal as well. We talked about that. But Colin Kaepernick, if he wins, is coming back and help the players. But did the players help him and have his back? Absolutely not. But he's still fighting for justice and injustice in his own league for a whole bunch of guys in a league who didn't even want to stand up and help him and support him until China, Donald Trump said something. So, you know, Colin Kaepernick is a better man for him, but a better man than me. But I'm pretty sure he's doing this for him. But he's also doing it for the NFL players, if if he knows it or not. And um, we see how this plays out. It's getting interesting. It's getting hot. NFL got a lot of promo going on. Let's see how they handle it. We go.